Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Zimbabwe. Hello, 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 Zimbabwe. Hello, Zimbabwe. How are you? Uh, Munugus gonna say, Magadini Murie Zimbabwe, Alice Moyonzanga, you are the first one. How are you? Anzi free Alan Moyo, free Alan Moyo, Asifuni Bumbulu, yes, Asifuni Bumbulu, Alice Gunjani, free Cecilia Chimbiri, free Johanna Mamombe. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Magadini Linjani, Mtwagas Omushe, Siatlangana Njalo, uh, Sigul Lighthouse, Change Radio, Zimai Linjani, Lapeling Aveli Kona. Yevo, look at Hambang and Dabara Alan Moyo. I think our name is Esimaz, but go to Nam Sanji, a Lipatele, a moon to Oza, Sichela, Alan Moyo. How are you, viewers and listeners? Welcome to our program whereby we are uh, in solidarity with uh, Alan Moyo. We know he's been incarcerated. I think today is day 63, if I'm not mistaken, or day 64. And we are saying Alan Moyo is not a criminal. He must be freed as soon as possible. We are also um, uh, campaigning uh, uh, for, for his uh, funding, like the GoFundMe. Go we are going to give you the link. Anzi Baba Popo Gox, free Alan Moyo now. Thank you so much. Uh, today, I am uh, my guest uh, is a Comrade Treasure Basopu. Uh, is the former student 
uh, of the University of Zimbabwe. Ndiyo kawa zizi, vatiri kutawara neja ona. As we know that Alan Moyo was also, is, he is also a student at the University of Zimbabwe. Comrade uh, Bakoko also uh, is a passionate social and economic justice activist. Uh, he is also, listen to this one, a uh, comrade treasure Basobu also led the final student demonstration that toppled Robert Mugabe at the UZ in 2017. We've got a very powerful guest. How are you, uh, comrade Basobu, treasure Basobu? Revolutionary greetings to you, comrade. Can you please <laughs> greet our viewers and listeners? A revolutionary greetings, Comrade Barbara. Revolutionary salutations to those who are listening and watching this particular episode or show that you are giving to the people of Zimbabwe. And I thank you very much for having me on this uh, particular show. Aluta, continue. Aluta. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, uh, Comrade Basopo. Uh, can you please tell us, who is this Alan Moyo? Because, you know, Alan Moyo, uh, he, he's, I think he's one of the... <laughs> people who have spent uh, more days in, 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 in the prison uh, than any other activist. And uh, all was quiet. We, we did not even hear uh, anything about him. I was really myself. People didn't know him. Uh, it's only now uh, when people are talking about Alan Mwebut. Uh, uh, we see yeah. some thieves, some big thieves have been given jail, who has been given bail, and yet Alan is languishing in prison. <coughs> who is this Alan Mo? Alan Mo is, um, like, as you are saying, is a, is a student at the University of Zimbabwe. Alan Mo is a voice of the oppressed masses of our people. Alan Moyo represents the face of change that the people of Zimbabwe are calling for. He is the is representing a generation that Emma Somnangagba's generation and those who are in power are so much afraid of. He's just but a young man who is calling passionately and genuinely for change, effective change in the country of Zimbabwe. He's a young boy who is allergic to oppression. And his addressing of the people at Copacabana is not unique to, to him. It's just but one of the it's actually his cause of arrest, but it's just one of those things that an oppressed people can do. He just cried to the people saying, this is the time that we must be galvanizing support among us all of us, finding a common solution and arriving at a common convergence position. And that is what Emma Somnangagba's cabal, Emma Somnangagba's government administration does not want. So he is that particular voice. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I see, uh, Comrade Treasure Basopo, you are a, a, mm -hmm. a, 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 you are now an activist, but you are a former student activist. We know uh, Kuti, uh, my students in Zimbabwe, they are playing a very pivotal role in bringing change to this country. Can you tell us uh, how this student activism has started? Maybe you can, because some of these from some of the people they, they are they are wondering why Alan ko mwanam liki ai trage ai tei mnya dza matongere we nyika can you tell us more about this student activism of uh, maybe kana mshida kutangira from we know kuti the people like wana len mo jongwe wana mtambara wana piti wanani um, until your, your 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 days and even now we are seeing kuti kuna na tafadza nga dziwore what is it that the student activism is seeking to address why student activism? Student, act, uh, student activism is just activism, just like any other activism. I think a classifying the student activism is just, but um, actually I think it's undermining the importance of it because uh, students have been citizens of a country before they were, uh, before they were students. And they obviously and ultimately be citizens of the country after they are students. So they are just citizens of a country who are trying to point out to some of the, uh, of the inefficiencies in the government and administration of any particular country in any particular continent or particular region. So, I mean, uh, being a student, uh, being a former student activist myself, we 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 saw and realized that we were we, we were sons and daughters of uh, the working class. Hence, the need for us to be to be pushing the government to come up with the right policies and the right uh, measures in terms of liberating and oppressed mass our parents outside there. Because, for example, when a parent is being paid an amount 
which is below the poverty line. When your parent is part of the 80% of our impoverished people in Zimbabwe, then obviously and ultimately you are, you are at the receiving side or a recipient of that particular poverty, which is deliberately created by the ruling class without ruling ideas. So at the end of the day, just like Alan Moore has been doing, if you have been looking and following what he has been saying, what has made him to be arrested, he has been adv advocating various uh, things. One of them, which is free education, which is enunciated and provided for by the National Constitution of the Land. One of the reasons that he was talking about was the eradication of poverty in the country, which is a basic right. Clean water which is a basic right according to the sections of a constitution within chapter four, the Bill of Rights. So he has been called student activists, they call for justice in the in, in the country. And so is Alan Moore and the rest of the current student leaders. I salute them. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Comrade Basop. Uh, someone is asking here, Anzi, what is he studying that's affecting or interesting and scaring the cronies? That's a very interesting question. And Alan Moyo, why Alan Moyo? Why has he spent so many days in, in prison uh, without even uh, his bell case being heard? No, well, I think it's not about what a person is studying. By the way, Alan Moyo is a scientist. He's not a, a social scientist. He's a is a, is, a, is, a, is a, I think is an engineer studying uh, engineering computer science some with some sophisticated mathematical stuff, but consciousness and conscience is actually led him to realize that this society that you are living in is not a just society. Therefore, I have, I have to put aside all the mathematics that I am studying, all the regression that I am doing. I have to put it aside and fight with my oppressed combatants. So, well, like I said, Alan Moore is not representing himself, neither is he representing his family, but he's representing is a voice of the oppressed people and the oppressed mass. In fact, it's the face of the generation that Emerson Mnangagwa does not like. Remember, Emerson Mnangagwa is, I think, is, is, is far away uh, above a 60 something. I think he's now in his 70s. Alan is, oh, is just about 22 years of age. He has been on earth for the past two decades and an extra of uh, two other years. He's a young man. He's innocent. He does not have a military. He has no political, he has, he has no, uh, political history. Whereby you can say maybe he was trained in Serbia in 2002 when they were dislodging a, a, a uh, that other clown who was uh, oppressing the people there. He was not part of the movement in 2010 that led to the Arab, Arab Spring. He's just but innocent. But Emerson Mnangagwa and the cronies and the crocs that are there, they do not want to hear people who want to change the, the, the power dynamics. Because remember, there is just a small elite establishment that is extracting, emerging, looting and milking all the state resources at the expense of the majority of our oppressed people. So they do not want to hear about that. So he's a scientist who is innocent, but he is representing a critical voice of an oppressed mass. Exactly. Uh, he has got no gun. Uh, I don't know why, why, why they are troubling him like that. Alan Moyo has mm. got no gun. Uh, mm. Someone is saying here, yeah, and there is value in the voice uh, of of dissent. Uh, and also, mm. someone Arguti is or uh, Comrade Basoko, and the uh, and the. A ruling party without a ruling strategy. Maybe mm -hmm. can you expand? Can you expand on that one? What do you mean when you say "kuti" and a ruling party without a ruling strategy? Uh, mm -hmm. People are, 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 are going with you. A ruling kids who are not going to our comrades. Can you can you can you, can you elaborate? Yeah? No, thanks. I mean, being in power is one thing, and being able to lead is is, is another thing. Uh, being uh, the president is one thing and having the presidential qualities and the presidents in you is another thing. Emerson Nangagwa is in government, they are in government, they are governors, but they do not have the, the, the I mean, they don't have the people at heart. So what that means, for example, in 2017, on the 14th of November, when Emerson Nangagwa and his uh, cabal staged a military coup, the people of Zimbabwe, they were behind them simply because they were fed up with Robert Mugabe. And they thought anyone who was going to come after Robert Mugabe was going definitely to be of material value to the lives of our people. So this is now uh, four years down the line. We have given them presidents, have given them political power. But what have they done? They have failed to come up with the ideas that can transform a society. My sister, four years after the departure, the departure of Robert Mugabe, we must be talking of policy adjustments. For example, we must be talking and debating uh, immigration policies in Zimbabwe. As we were 
as who would expect people to be flocking right now in Zimbabwe, where the country was supposed to be delivering milk and honey. People from across the region were supposed to be flocking into the country as we speak. Former uh, farmers were supposed to be flocking into the country. The unemployment rate which you have in the country was supposed to have been eradicated, but probably it was supposed to be growing up because of people coming from outside of the country. But we have seen nothing of that. The country has gone worse. So what should we do under those circumstances? We are convinced that is just but a cabal which is self-centered, which is uh, which looks at itself and, and, and they only want to advance their elite, uh, elitist uh, uh, interest of their particular class. But the oppressed people, an oppressed mass being run in an oppressed manner, must be able to question the status quo and say, no, this cannot continue. We now need to eradicate, we now need to, 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 to dissolve uh, the current establishment and to properly liquidate it in all certain uncertain circumstances. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, uh, Comrade uh, Basop. Uh, you you correctly put it, uh, the 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 the, the ZANPF is lacking strategy. We've seen uh, there are people that have been st stealing um, uh, COVID funds, that have been stealing even my gold. Uh, they've been stealing everything. The health delivery system is in shambles. The educational system is is in shambles. Every sector is in shambles in Zimbabwe. So uh, why are they uh, uh, harassing uh, Alan Moyo when Alan Moyo, Alan Moyo is just as as, as innocent as everyone. I listened to his speech, uh, Comrade Basofu, and I and not want to anything to shut up on his speech here, yeah, Comrade, uh, uh, um, yeah, Comrade uh, uh, Alan. Alan Moore. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it was just a straightforward uh, a speech whereby he was conscientizing the people who mm -hmm. you know, you know, Shasha, the Saka, Imimi, as the youth, what are you saying uh, about, are you going, going to, to do this uh, uh, activism, epa, ma, epa, 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 social media? What are you planning? Uh, because I know, but in, even, Wondoye, Chimurenga, Payakatanga, this is what was happening. This is what was happening. What we are seeing now is exactly what was happening. This is exactly what led our forefathers, our fathers, our brothers to go to one over. So what can you say? What, are you going, going to end here? Or Nemo Amuno strategy says Anupi? No, we are never out of strategy. I mean, we are never out of solutions and the and, 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 and way of getting out of this particular situation. But to start with Alan Moyo. In, in, in 2013, my sister, I think on the 16th, and 17th of March, our people participated in an electoral a referendum. The referendum which gave birth to a particular constitution which was later signed into law by Robert Ungaba, I think on the 22nd of, of May. More than 94.5% participated, who participated in that particular a referendum, they voted yes for a constitution. That was immediately before an election. Why did people participate in a referendum? in their numbers, because they believe that they were signing a social contract to those who are supposed to be the governors. Now that we have a new constitution that we all participated in as, as citizens, including the young people, the government is now failing to respect that particular constitution. So the first responsibility of the people is the preservation of the constitution, for it is the it, 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 it represents the social contract that is between the people themselves and the citizens, the citizens, and the citizens in the state, or the citizen and the governors. But when we have a government which has a propensity, a gargantuan appetite to do away a country, to liquidate a constitution, and begin to run it without laws, then the first duty of the young people is to preserve their constitution in that particular country. And how do you do that? You do them at two levels. Either you choose the root, the violent way, or you choose the non-violent way. The, 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 the violent way, we have seen it producing results. Right now, all independent African countries, most of them, they are independent because of a violent confrontation on the colonialists. In 1961, when Zan, Zan was formed, and later on ushered independence in 1980, it is because they were not confronting the regime, uh, 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 they were not caressing. Uh, the regime, but they are confronting it violent. All the countries, including Ghana, that got independence in 1959, it was because of that particular violence. We saw also violence producing results, uh, uh, like I, was, I, I highlighted in 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 the in the Arab Spring. I think you are aware that on the 17th of 
December 2010, there was a young man called Mohamed Boaziz. That man self-emulated or he bent himself in front of a public house. And the whole nation saw it and said, this cannot end like that. We cannot lose lives. And people began to confront that particular regime. We saw Tunisia, Egypt, uh, countries like Yemen, uh, Saudi Arabia, Oman, all of them having a massive confrontation of the violent regime. It worked, actually, that particular stage because they managed to do away with the massive uh, or, or, with leaders with the dictatorial tendencies. Gaddafi is, is, is an example. But also, so non-violent means producing good results. I think I was talking about, I think it's in 2002, in, 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 um, when, when they are doing away with the Milos, Milo, Milosevic. We also saw violent, uh, and non-violent means also producing results historically in India during the days of Mahatma Gandhi. In the 19, uh, I think 19, 1960s, uh, we saw non-violence also taking place with people like Martin Luther King producing an, 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 an independent America, or at least an independent up to now. So the young people must stop agonizing, but must begin to organize and choose the way that they're going to dislodge or to discharge their anger on the enemy. But as for me, I think ZANPF is too violent to be confronted non-violently because non-violence has been failing to produce results for quite a long period of time. So we need to organize how violent we are going to. But we need to operate within the confines of the national constitution. Of course, like I say, I'm a constitutionalist. Young I believe in the constitution. But the NPF cannot be dealt with with these kids' gloves that you are approaching. That is my thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, leader, leader, Comrade Basov, I don't want to call you leader because I think this is uh, some of the 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 the, 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 the titles that uh, uh, derail our struggles. Leader, Nindi, leader, Nindi, honorable Nindi. Uh, we become so comfortable in our seats. Uh, but yeah. if if I if I use Comrade, it it you know you know which I put mute 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 you know you you. No garwane spirit ya tongo gara. Tunaku tumuti uze. Tunaku tukumri. Tunaku tumuti uze. Neze. Neze go fund me. Ya Alan. I'm, I'm seeing kuti. We are going to be having uh, these uh, shows ev every day. Until Alan is granted bail. Until justice prevails uh, on Alan. We are going to. Ticha taura kushika shanaka. And uh, I have seen kuti. There are some people who have seen it fit. Uh, to fundraise even for. Alan Moyo's family, because we know that in Zimbabwe things are not well. Uh, Alan Moyo is in in in, in prison. Uh, there's there are no no mask. There is no um, there are no PPEs. Uh, he's just there exposed to COVID nineteen. He's a young lad and a promising leader. We need to protect him uh, by all means and all odds. So people are saying, "Would no? Let's fundraise." So that Alan Moyo gets uh, uh, the proper PPEs and also the family. Because we know it is in the prison. Even in the prison, it's not, it's not, it's not healthy. You, we know that we are like beans, rice, food food yes. is not appetizing. So it's depressing. And so what about at least in, Alan is a hero. Let's do something for Alan. So what can you say about this GoFundMe? Can you talk about this uh, GoFundMe? Well, injustice anyway, my sister, is a threat to uh, justice everywhere. I mean to say that injustice when anyone is a threat to justice on everyone. So when Alan is within the, 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 the vicious uh, teeth of the so not so good, but an odoriferous crocodile, what we need to do is to make sure that we stand with one of our own. Solidarity is the, is, a, is the cornerstone of the struggles that we fight as a people. Solidarity is a key element, even nation to nation solidarity. What made Zimbabwe to be independent in the 1980s? Because Mozambique had already gained independence in 1975. But Samora Marshall said that uh, 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 Mozambique is not independent until Zimbabwe is independent. The same words which were said by Kwame Nkrumah in 1959 and said Ghana is independent is not independent until the rest of Africa is independent. So I cannot say I'm, I'm independent, I'm not imprisoned when my brother Alan Moyo is, is imprisoned. It so applies to even our listeners. 
They cannot say they are outside of prison when Alan Moore is in prison. Is, is prison. When last Mayanka Hama is in prison. And all other political prisoners, Joanna Mamombe, Cecilia, Ma, Cecilia uh, Chimbiri, all those comrades. But with regard to this particular, we say it is important if we can contribute towards the welfare of each other as citizens. Because Alan Moyo is surely within 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 a, a, a precarious uh, position. If you listened to what his brother was saying yesterday on the interview, it was really sad. When a parent almost cries in front of uh, cameras because he has not been having a kid, his kid, since the 6th of December. Because of the deliberate moves by Emerson Mnangagwa, because of the deliberate moves of General Chiwenga and Kembo Mohad, who do not want to leave political power. So, uh, comrades, let us stand together. Comrades, let's support us during uh, these uh, difficult times. For it's not everyone who can contribute equally, but the little that we have. Even if you have your money, a dollar, if you, if, 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 even if you have a tax shop, can send Maputi, contribute towards the welfare of each other. It is important because you are because I am, and I am because you are. That is what Ubuntu tells us, the sophisticated uh, African philosophy. We are because I am. I am Zandiri Negutiri. So Alan Ari Zari Negutiri Wetiri Zari Negutiri Alan Dozari. Because he's been fighting for justice. He's not fighting to. Re, he's not fighting for 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 beer to be cheap. Neither is he fighting for the government to provide free cigarettes. But he's fighting for free water, and not for free water, but for clean water in the country. Fighting for good roads. Fighting for the welfare of our children and the future of the same. So that is what I would like to say. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you so much, Comrade uh, Basopa. I, I don't know whether I'm clear. Someone was trying to phone me and it disturbed the, this uh, uh, stream. Anzi Namalvin da Chengezwa. They are only doing this to him so that he will be an example to all the conscious youth who want a just society, respect of the law, quality education, and accessible. Alan is innocent. If he is a criminal, why they don't give him a trial? A trial, a trial, are a criminal because uh, everyone has got a right to a fair a hearing. No hearing, nothing. And we know, good, um, I'm putting aside, they are good at arresting uh, so that they investigate. They don't investigate to arrest, but they arrest to investigate, which is uh, absurd, which is very, very, very unfair. Anzi, Anzi, treasure, Basobo, Chibabanda, well articulated comrade uh, I, I, I must say I, I must also agree uh, could you, uh, you are articulating these issues very well because we wanted to raise awareness most people were asking could you, can't Alan watch who is this Alan people didn't even know until we were to find that video where he was addressing people at Copacabana and when I, I listened to it honestly I didn't find anything that was wrong uh, with with that, uh, with that uh, 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 video, with that address that he did. I'm seeing a promising leader in Alan. I'm seeing a Pikinini Tongogara in Alan. He's very, very brave. And uh, we want to, 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 to thank all the youth that are standing in solidarity with Alan. We want to thank everyone who is standing in solidarity with Alan. We are yes. saying, I am Alan. We are Alan. As you rightfully said, but Ubuntu is I am because we are. So inja one, inja all. And injury to one is an injury to all. So we are all Alan. This is our new hashtag. We are Alan. I am Alan. As from today, hashtag free Alan. I am mm -hmm. Alan. We are Alan. That's sure. Ubuntu. No Ubuntu at no ziwa kwete Ubuntu why Ubuntu tiche me mbava. Ah ah. Kuche mbava. Mbava iche me Mbavaka mm. nayafa wanu wano puruza because muswajo ne wano rara wope uh zero shower. Yeah. Ombre basop. Uh mm. tichi penzesa. What what do you do you want to say? I know kuti we are saying you are a reformer student activist, but in I see you, you are still an activist, a student activist, but now you are abroad and you feathering your education, but you are still in this uh 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 war. We are you are still in this struggle of trying to liberate Zimbabwe. What are your last words before we 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 we, we end oh. this program? <laughs> no, it's okay. I am I'm, I'm a former activist. But here I'm also, I mean, when I came here last year, I campaigned to be in the parliament at Oslo Metropolitan University and I'm part of the uh, student parliament there at my um, university. So, I mean, uh, 
fighting for justice, fighting for goodness and inclusion is never a struggle that comes to an end. But um, I would like to say that uh, I respect the constitution fundamentally. And it, 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 it bleeds my heart when I see the constitution of this country, section 69, subsection uh, 2, being violated excessively. A person has a right to a fair trial, but it must be speed too. But we can't be talking about speed when a person has been arrested since uh, December of six, and that is continuously happening. And unfortunately, that is happening in the face of a population of more than 16 million citizens who, who, who are within the country. And we have come up to a point of normalizing that. And uh, we have normalized so many injustices also being done by Amazon. They shot our people on the 1st of August, 2018. They shot some more extra people on the 15th and the 16th of uh, January in the following year. And it's unfortunate, that's upset, but that is happening. I think, like I was saying, the struggle continues. The struggle in Zimbabwe is our struggle. Just like what Samora Macho would say, I like, I like Samora Macho. When he said, when the bullets begin to shower and flower, the struggle continues. So we must continue fighting, comrades. We must not cease to fight. For fighting, Zinasu says, eh, 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 um, freedom is, is, our, is, is our birthright. So, I mean, we must continue fighting and we must also begin to organize and stop agonizing. We must confront the violent dictator in the language that they understand. If Anonymous Nangagba uh, uh, understands violence, then probably you have to approach him as such because I can't speak to you in English when you can't hear English. I can't speak to you in Debele when you can't hear in Debele. So we need to get power when it comes to the languages. But Aluta, continue. The, the struggle must continue. Finceremos Moi. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Gumbrand uh, Basopo. Uh, we could go on and on and on. And Newamwe, and if you don't want, and ED, if you don't want to go peacefully, and you go <laughs> pandemical, and much I know pandemical. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <great. laughs> I, uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, our viewers and listeners, uh, thank you so much uh, for your feedback. We really value you, uh, you Magat Koshera, and uh, we are saying, good, let's donate to, to uh, Alan Moyo. Uh, the parents, they need money. We know the situation that is in Zimbabwe. Please, we want to buy Alan Moyo. Uh, his PPEs, Ndofunga Murungo Mona, COVID, Yagarura Majere. People are dying. People are dying, but they are not telling us. But tell you what, people are dying in prisons because of COVID-19. We want to make sure that Alan is protected. We want to make sure that Alan is well. We want to make sure that Alan eats well. We want, him, we want to give him a decent living. If you look at Mamuema prisons, just look at you UK. Go to yeah. South Africa and see how the, the prisons are alike. Yeah. You see, even the dressing, even watch one and smart, one watch or one not watch my TV, one not to say they've got all, all sorts of things. The the mm. the panenguari panorara is dignified, everything is just on point. So it's also we are saying that if Zimbabwe fails to provide that, if the government yeah. fails to provide that, it's also will provide that for Alan Moyo. Alan Moyo must not die of. COVID. We mm -hmm. are declaring and decreeing that Alan Moyo will not die of COVID. Even when Joanna Mamobe and Cecilia yeah. Namsa, today we are focusing on Alan Moyo. And we know that Cecilia Chimbiri and Joanna Mamobe, they are still in, but you also do, do their own. But today mm -hmm. we, were, we said we want to focus, focus on Alan Moyo so that um, uh, so that we, 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 we give him a decent uh, living. This is what he's been fighting for. And it, so yes. we want to see. And let's support now, Chief, Chief Jogor. How are you? How are you? How are you, my comrade? And let's support Alan. This boy has suffered enough. We supported the trio. We supported Jacob and Job. Why not yeah. Alan? This is very powerful from uh, uh, from Chief Sose. And then someone is saying, if you keep quiet about the lies of COVID-19 and the destruction of the economy, we don't want you to speak to us. Lies. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we are here because even uh, comrade um, Fadzai Mayere, when she came out, she was brave uh, to tell us and when she caught, she, she tested uh, positive for 
COVID-19, she did mm. not hide. She came out in the open and told the people that she 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 she, 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 she tested positive and she's isolating, but she she's she's well. And now uh, uh, Lida Mahere is is well, and uh, I think she will be back uh, to work very soon. Uh, let me thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Comrade uh, Basopo. It was a, pl a pleasure having you here on Lighthouse. Uh, this is going to be uh, um, streamed again or on uh, Change Radio and Zim Eye. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Our My crew uh, behind the scene, uh, Comrade Albert Mpofu, thank you so much for being there uh, for us. Uh, goodbye, uh, Zimbabwe. Lisare Gusle, Twaga Zomuse, Musare Zaganaka, Wadiwa Tariri, Newa Tereri. Aluta, continue. Aluta, continue. Thank you so much. Sure. <laughs>